Hey guys, this is Vijal Kumar Sen and you are watching Vijal Kumar Sen YouTube channel, English one obviously. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how to study thermodynamics right way. Well, many of the students I have seen those are studying thermodynamics, they don't know how to go towards this subject. And one more important thing is that if you will study properly this subject, it will be very helpful further in engineering as well as to crack complete examination which may you may appear after completing BTEC or during BTEC. So let me tell you my dear how you should go towards this subject. Even I will share with you weightage uh, of this subject for various examination including GATE, SSCJ, PSUs as well as you know ESC. Also I will tell you books which is the best book or which one which books you should follow what are the books you should follow for getting proper knowledge i will tell you that also so stay tuned and keep watching this video till the end you will learn each and everything what you need to know about this subject well let me tell you my dear there are few subjects those are little difficult you know why because in those subjects you have to study three things theory derivations as well as numericals and thermodynamics is also one of them so how you should study this subject well if your subject having three things numericals theory as well as derivation then you have to uh, study this subject daily that means you need consistency even you are studying 30 minutes per day that's okay but you have to study daily because like this subject you cannot pass in the university examination uh, thermodynamics by studying one night i know the phrase is very popular only engineering students is uh, engineering students understand the study of last night that's true but for this case it may fail right so first thing is first what you have to do you have to focus on consistency you have to maintain consistency then only you can become hero in this subject from zero which will definitely help you in this examination uh, in future right well so what are things for theory and for derivations especially for derivations you need practice so derivations required in written examination not only in the university also in esc as well as ssc j paper 2 right so how you should prepare derivations that is what practice after understanding basic concept in theory you can go for derivations to, me, to remember derivations you have to practice couple of times and for this subject you should prepare your notes your own notes books okay no problem you have you don't have no problem but you should have your own notes so that it will be very easier for you to do revision as well as to do study which is really really important well it is my personal experience even i got this information from many of my teachers uh, earlier days when i was studying right that if you are writing something it is way better than if you are reading something if you are writing it is much more efficient to understand as well as to remember as well as to keep these things keep things what you are writing in your mind for longer time so try to write but don't you know don't just put music and start writing that is not the good way to write if you don't want to study okay no problem listen to music but if you whenever you are studying only focus on study do not listen to music it will distract you from your path and you may your main main aim is to get knowledge right not to get marks marks okay no problem it will definitely help you but if you have knowledge and you have marks then it will work like hybrid engine right so now let's come to numerical problems again numerical problems is all about understanding basic you need to have formula what formulas you required to solve the problem then practice different different problems you have to practice so if you are preparing for university examination then practice last five years paper for all these sets derivations theory as well as numericals you will discover 30 percent of the question is repeating again and again 
30 to 40 percent portion at least if you will see related question then you will see 80 percent related questions are repeating again and again in university examination that means here also you can implement that rule that is what 80 20 rule that means 20 percent of your effort can give you 80 percent of the result that means you should put you should put focus there where you can get maximum outcome that should be your priority i hope you're getting me so you have to prioritize your own own desire according to that you have to work with self-discipline right now so these things i have shared right okay now let's come to books well there are two books i'll recommend you one is you need to buy this book because it will definitely help you in future for any for preparing any competitive examination that is what engineering thermodynamics personally i read this book to teach thousands of even lakhs of students that is what pk knock well if you want to buy this book online i will put the link in the description so that you can buy online right now guys let me tell you what another book you should follow that book you should we you don't need to uh, you know buy that book you can just go to your library and read from that book that can be local writer no problem you can also read from internet you, mo you must have a smartphone right so if you have a smartphone do not read from a smartphone right if there is availability of laptop if you have laptop then forget about smartphone always open laptop and study it will help you a lot just do it you will understand why i'm telling you this because if you are studying from laptop it will be there will be less lesser chances that you will destruct easily than if you are studying from mobile phone right this is my personal experience so one book you should buy another book you should refer from your library and you can read from there only this book is enough for any complete examination now let me talk about bonus bonus tips well in my videos i always give some bonus tips regarding any topic i am talking about right so from this subject you will get in the gate you will get around 7 to 13 marks which is huge and in gate most of the question you will get from theory and maybe one or two questions you will get in objective time loan like one more question from i mean most of the questions you will get from numerical problems but only one or two questions you will get from theory right in sscj again you will get around 8 to 10 marks right 8 to 10 questions in pre right so in sscj also my dear you will get questions uh, numerical problem maybe one one or two you will get rest of that you will get most of the time from theory in sscj is all about theory right now esc it is like you know it is like in between gate and sscj you can get numerical problem you can get theoretical questions right so again you will get around 8 to 10 marks if you're talking about psus most of the psus ask question like sscj very simple question they ask but time management should be there for that you, we usually provide test series and we recommend to write test series and you can follow my channel for such information whenever any requirement come also we also teach some uh, we are also providing free coaching but uh, not in english right now we are providing in hindi so maybe in future we will provide in english also so guys uh, that's about this video i hope you understand this video what i'm trying to make you understand okay so thank you very much for watching this video see you in my next video like this video share with your friends and uh, if you are new to this channel uh, just subscribe to this channel bye bye thank you very much god bless you all